on this episode of Inside the Blueprint. We visit a remarkable 1 million square foot manufacturing facility where the leaders in the electrification of forklifts show us their state of the art. Discover how solar panels are impacting transportation in the form of fuel savings, fleet management, and the environment. Diamonds aren't only beautiful, they're also on the cutting edge of the chainsaw industry, pun intended. You may not know it when you hop in and the doors close, but you could be riding with the leading manufacturer of innovative elevator equipment of the last 100 years. Join us as we go Inside the Blueprint. Toyota, an iconic brand. Vehicles trusted and driven by millions. But this brand name is more than just cars and trucks. Inside the Blueprint visited Toyota's material handling division located south of Indianapolis. A 1.5 million square foot manufacturing facility. A division helping lead the forklift and material handling industry since 1967. An industry contributing more than $26 billion to U.S. annual GDP. Toyota's electric forklift latest product lineups are bringing continued innovation to the marketplace, cutting edge innovation from a company that's been the material handling leader for more than 50 years. In 1989, we started in a 250,000 square foot factory focused on only internal combustion engine forklifts. We've transformed ourselves into a full line material handling solutions provider. Over the last decade, we've been investing significant amount of money and resources into localizing development of electric forklifts to the U.S. so that we can be close to our customers and understand what they need and to be able to deliver on their requests. The TPS is unique to Toyota, it provides an advantage for Toyota and for our customers when we talk about uh, reduce cost, reduce lead time, and of course, the highest quality. But there's one thing that ties all of them together, and that is the elimination of waste. Toyota Material Handling, a half century as a North American innovator, continues to set the standard of excellence as the total material handling solutions leader in the design, engineering, manufacturing, aftermarket, and extensive North American dealer service network for all of their handling products, including the newest lineup of electric forklifts. Last fall, we introduced 22 uh, brand new electric products. And the significance of that is twofold. One, it was the single largest product launch in Toyota Material Handling's history, but really more importantly, uh, it's electric products. Toyota Material Handling is actually focusing on bringing in a lot of new products. Uh, we're focusing on completely refreshing our entire electric product line, uh, in particular the products that we built here in Columbus, Indiana, our three-wheel electric and four-wheel electric, and we're also looking to electrify our entire internal combustion product line from 3,000 pounds to 17,500 pounds. The whole portfolio of our products and services, we kind of go top to bottom. Historically, we've been a very much a forklift manufacturer. And that has transformed, right, from a, a forklift to a, a, a internal combustion engine to electrification, and really beyond that, to services, to automation. And that's where the industry is going. The distribution centers have grown tremendously and we're here to serve those needs. The 22 electric products that Toyota launched will help us and our customers to stay ahead of this rapid electrification transformation in our industry by offering the best products and solutions to help them increase their efficiencies in their operations. We are a very customer-centric organization and we are not only looking for the solutions that we need now, but many years into the future. We want to make sure that we can help our customers meet their strategic and efficiency goals within their own operations. Providing forklifts to the world since 1967, Fall 2021 marked the largest launch in material handling history. Going green has truly come of age. For uh, several decades now, Toyota has been one of the leaders in providing electric uh, material handling equipment. Uh, what makes this opportunity unique is really the introduction of a lithium ion battery and the ecosystem that, that we feel uh, we, can, we can provide customers to really um, 
really satisfy their biggest material handling needs. So that includes the truck, it includes the lithium ion battery, uh, the battery charger, and then all of the insights that we can gain from the energy management systems and the telemetry that's wrapped around that. We just really feel like we're in a unique position to provide customers with uh, the lowest cost of ownership. There's a huge responsibility uh, when a customer buys a Toyota product, right? I mean, there, there's, there's expectations that they have when they see that brand and image. Uh, so it really starts with, you know, kind of understanding the customer's perspective. They expect the highest quality. Uh, they expect an ex extremely reliable, dependable product uh, that's durable for their application. You know, so Toyota has a very defined development review process. Toyota's philosophy on Kaizen, which is continuous improvement, is really f fantastic. The difference, I think, between Toyota and other companies is, is that our Kaizen opportunities are every day by every associate. We come in every day to try to do what we did yesterday better. It's about the everyday perseverance of continually improving, either in cost, quality, safety, focused on the customer every day every associate comes in to try to improve what they did yesterday. That's the beauty, right? That's the difference. That's the secret sauce for Toyota. Toyota Material Handling is the total solutions provider, ready to meet all of your company's material handling needs. To find out how Total Solutions can help meet your business needs and your bottom line, visit toyotaforklift.com. Transportation systems function to move people, goods, and ideas. Engineers work constantly to improve efficiency, reduce pollution and cost on semi-trucks and motor coaches. One company, Bergstrom Incorporated, is helping revolutionize the transportation industry. Ground transportation is so important in the United States. It moves everything we use, everything we eat, and everything we make. Bergstrom has been helping transportation by creating solutions that allows customers to not have to sacrifice comfort or safety in order to do their jobs. More than 70 years of experience in the climate control industry allows this family-owned company to understand the challenges that the transportation industry faces. Bergstrom produces heating and air conditioning systems for any type of vehicle, mostly other than the automotive market. Bergstrom started in 1949 with just a handful of employees because we naturally didn't have a lot of customers. But how did Bergstrom become the leading designer and manufacturer of cab climate control systems for heavy duty commercial trucks, off highway machines and specialty vehicles? At Bergstrom, we've honed our skills and capabilities in three key areas, manufacturing, innovation and quality. We are also constantly monitoring the transportation industry changes with our relationship with our customers by participating to trade shows and by participating to many technical committees. Our manufacturing process is pretty simple. Never be satisfied and continuously improve, whether that's the process, the product, or even the people. Bertram has invested heavily in vertical integration We've installed state-of-the-art sheet metal fabrication equipment, as well as injection molded plastics. Uh, in our facilities around the world, we also produce heat exchangers and evaporator coils, as well as brush and brushless DC motors. Bergstrom's investment in vertical integration has allowed us to have some of the best delivery performance in the industry, while supply issues and disruptions were running rampant. Our vision is trust, to be the technology leader recognized for unparalleled solutions in thermal management. Six Sigma is an automotive methodology that uses statistical analysis to rectify problems, whether they be quality issues or process issues. We use throughout the organization, whether it be on manufacturing or even in our office, that helps us eliminate waste and solve problems and make everything more efficient. Another way we improve our manufacturing process is through our mastery program. It allows our employees to continue to learn, continue to grow, and continue to be more proficient at their jobs. Bergstrom has developed many unique patented no idle HVAC systems for all types of commercial vehicles. 20 years ago, Bergstrom developed the first electrical engine of heating and air conditioning system for semi-trucks. Recently, we launched 
a similar product for smaller vehicles, the Equal Park system, as well as the Ecomet coach dedicated to motor coach. The difference between the conventional race drag system and last system is that a conventional system needs the engine to be running to produce heating and air conditioning. The Ecomet coach system runs off batteries that are being charged when the coach is driving. In parking condition, the compressors of, of the Ecomet coach system use the stored energy into the batteries to run an auxiliary air conditioning system. The system can be connected to solar panels installed on the roof. This will increase the runtime of the e-climate coach and will reduce the maintenance of the batteries. E-climate coach is a perfect example of a product that allows you to save the environment without having to give up customer comfort. And for sleeper tractors, work trucks, or fleet vehicles, Bergstrom developed eCool Park, an AC solution that's easy on the environment and your wallet. The eCool Park system works for a multitude of vehicles. It has been designed for class three to seven vehicles, which includes day cab trucks, pickup trucks, vans, and SUVs. Our system is already being used by police fleets, municipal vehicles, and work trucks just to name a few. The Eagle Park system uses a similar technology than the Knight system and the Ecomet coach system. The difference with Eagle Park is that it's fully integrated into the air conditioning loop of the vehicle. With great green HVAC solutions, Bergstrom has revolutionized the cab climate system. The Knight system was the first solution in the class eight market to solve the problem of idling. Our experience with Bergstrom has been very positive. Um, we've enjoyed working with them and developing some solutions for um, eliminating idling in work trucks. Their products and our products go really well hand in hand. We've been able to utilize the Bergstrom system, um, AC system on our service trucks to reduce the idling and hours on our system and to improve the usability for our technician. Our system utilizes a set of batteries that are charged while the vehicle is moving. We then utilize that energy at night to maintain the temperature and comfort for the driver without ever idling the engine. The night system offers benefits in reduced maintenance, lowering your carbon footprint. Our products are the only factory installed option at nearly every truck manufacturer in the world. At Bergstrom, we're proud to have a history of offering green thermal management solutions. We plan to continue to innovate and develop energy efficient products for our current and future markets. For more information on how Bergstrom delivers green technology for a better environment and their customers save money by implementing engine off solutions for all types of commercial vehicles, visit bergstrominc.com. And of course, visit us at insidetheblueprint.com. The United States has more than a million miles of large-scale underground pipes transporting fluids, moving water, wastewater, oil, and gasoline. But what happens when there's a leak? Fixing those pipes is no easy task, and every day, many municipal employees and private contractors jeopardize their safety repairing them. Today on Inside the Blueprint, how Diamond Chain is protecting saw operators down in the trenches. Fixing pipes for saw operators is dangerous in a few ways. Uh, the first is when those pipes are underground uh, that require excavation, removing the material around the pipe so that they can be cut. The process of cutting uh, conventionally has been done with circular blade cutoff saws. Operators have to maneuver the saw in awkward ways that can create unique hazards in that particular application. The primary hazard being kickback. The kickback hazard related to cutoff saws is one of the primary focuses of our engineering and design efforts. Our products are intended to mitigate that hazard. The abrasive chainsaw is safer because you can cut the pipe completely from one side and you don't have to engage the kickback zone to make a complete and full cut, unlike the cutoff saw. The state of Oregon is recognized as the birthplace of the modern chainsaw, and Oregon Tool has led the way with revolutionary cutting tools for 75 years. At Oregon Tool, we are the leaders in precision cutting tools, but this didn't happen overnight. Our heritage story is one that most companies would love to have. It's a great American story. 
A little over 75 years ago, a man, a tinkerer, an intellectually curious logger named Joe Buford Cox was out clearing the forest after one of the great Tillamook forest fires of the 30s and 40s near Portland, Oregon. This was in 1945. Logging companies popped up in the forest after the fires went out to make it easier for forestry restoration. Joe was one of those loggers who went in to help clear the forest. You know, that day he observed several timber beetle larvae about the size of a little finger, making great progress, cutting and ripping from side to side versus burrowing or scratching straight ahead. You know, chainsaw chain back then tended to have straighter teeth for burrowing through the wood, but were really slow and not very efficient. Curious Joe took the big larvae back to his Portland, Oregon basement for a closer inspection of how they cut wood so efficiently. So by observing these bugs that had C-shaped jaws under a magnifying glass, he designed, manufactured, and patented the chipper saw chain and started the Oregon Saw Chain Company in 1947. So from a basement in Portland, Oregon, revolutionizing the timber industry to a multinational corporation with customers all over the world, it's fair to say that Oregon Saw Chain founder, Joe Cox, inspired by nature, was a pioneer. Our why is simply to build on our legacy of precision cutting innovation so that pros can power through the toughest jobs. But how has this company transformed the chainsaw industry forever? Our chain development program has been ongoing for about 30 years. It was born from our experience in developing wood saw chain. The products we have developed include diamond chain for cutting concrete, stone, and brick materials and more recently our power grit diamond chain for cutting pipe materials, specifically in trench applications. The kickback research that was conducted shows that a circular blade cutoff saw produces nearly twice as much kickback energy as a power grit chainsaw. The benefits of the power grit saw are the ability to cut from a single point of access, meaning to cut from one side of the pipe. That means less excavation but also the ability to cut up to a 24 inch diameter pipe from one side. We've designed our power grit saw to have the smallest possible kickback zone. Unlike the circular blade cutoff saw, which has a far larger kickback zone. They understand the importance of investing in the right tools. That's why they design solutions that improve safety and control while cutting pipes. The diamond coating that we use in power grit chain is unique in how it's applied to the cutter. As diamonds wear and fracture and pop out, the cutting loads are transferred to new diamonds. This allows the diamond coating to maintain performance through the entire life of the chain. Unlike wood cutting chainsaws, power grit chainsaws are designed to grind away material instead of chipping. The difference between grinding and chipping when it comes to the cutting application, typically wood cutting chainsaws form a chip as the chain is moving through the cut. For power grit, as the chain is moving through the material, it's actually grinding away small amounts of the material, but very fast and quickly over time. Oregon Tool has created an undisputed reputation as the leader in cutting tools. Our core values or guiding principles that will dictate behavior and be that unwavering guide for our organization, they are leading with humility. So we believe in inspiring, listening, learning, and rolling up our sleeves to get to work together our pioneering spirit. So really born from Joe Buford Cox, our heritage story, we have a deep rooted desire to innovate and grow. Global stewardship, so we serve a higher purpose than the products we make and are devoted to positively impacting people, communities and landscapes around the world. And finally, own it. So we are accountable for every action. So we do what we'll say we'll do. And so our values really share our story and our story shares our values. Their commitment to quality has earned them the title of the world's leading innovator of professional grade precision cutting tools and equipment. Made for smooth portability, efficiency and agility, the power grid diamond chain is considered a jack of all trades. With its unique versatility, users can cut through ductile iron, cast iron, HDPE, PVC, AC pipe, vitrified clay and the like. We are certainly proud of where we've been and where we are, but we're even more excited about where we're going at Oregon Tool. For more information on how to reduce the risks on your labor force with more efficient and versatile tools, visit icsdiamondtools.com.
And of course, visit us at InsideTheBlueprint.com. Almost every building in New York City has one. Both safety and cleanliness have never been more important in them. We're talking about elevators. It's paramount in the elevator industry. Um, everything that we do has to ensure transportation of the riders that move in elevators every single day. In fact, it's often been said that riding in an elevator is better than riding in a New York City cab. So for the entire uh, history of the elevator industry, it has been a number one priority. Cleanliness um, has become an increased priority for elevator companies and the companies that service elevators, driven in large part by the recent global pandemic, which has really driven all of us to think a lot more, more closely about the spaces that we're in and the cleanliness and quality of the air within, within them. When it comes to elevators, Vantage Elevator Solutions is the leader in innovative elevator equipment. We operate eight different unique brands, including our largest companies called GAL Manufacturing, Halster Whitney, and GAL Canada, and employ over 900 people across North America. Today we sell almost 90% of the products that go into a modern elevator system and are continually focused on innovation uh, and pushing, pushing the industry forward. Our company has over a 100 year legacy in the elevator industry um, and really that legacy is built around uh, developing new products and new innovations that keep the elevators more efficient for transportation. Many of the modern uh, components found in an elevator were designed and engineered and really developed here at, at Vantage. Clean cab with, with Actic Pure technology is a device that basically uh, uh, cleans the air and sanitizes the air in, in an elevator, not just the air but also surfaces, right? In the case of clean cab, you, 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 you're not really only taking care of of the air inside the elevator, but you're also taking care of the surfaces on the elevator itself. Active Pure technology itself takes water and, and oxygen from the air, passes it through this uh, uh, honeycomb matrix uh, that is patented, and then it forces uh, uh, these uh, ox oxidizers uh, in the air, and, and that basically eliminates and neutralizes uh, 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 viruses such as the uh, novel coronavirus that causes COVID-19, uh, some of the viruses that cause swine flu and, and avian bird flu. It's also used at uh, Cleveland uh, Medical uh, Clinic, uh, YMCA, uh, Dunkin' Donuts. So it's also used in several uh, um, national sports teams. At this point, there are no standardized regulations in North America for air quality and cleanliness inside of an elevator. But this is something that we at Vantage, as well as our other colleagues and peers in the industry, are actively pushing, pushing forward um, to ensure that every elevator across North America is to ride in. To learn more about Vantage Elevator Solutions or the Clean Cab by GAL featuring Active Pure Technology product, visit their website vantageelevation.com and gal.com forward slash clean cab or watch this segment again at insidetheblueprint.com. Building, large office, retail and industrial space managers know it as HVRF, or Hybrid Variable Refrigerant Flow. It's become the ideal solution for a vast array of heating and cooling applications for business and industrial buildings worldwide, and it's quickly replacing traditional HVAC technologies. Inside the Blueprint visited the Georgia-based company headquarters that's leading the way. Mitsubishi Electric Train, U.S. VRF technology around the world has been very popular. It's become more popular in the United States over the past 20 years or so. And the reason is the efficiencies are very high, the installations are more simple because you're running refrigerant lines rather than a lot of ductwork in the building, and it actually gives the building owner more space to operate. There's a big advantage of hybrid VRF in that by moving from refrigerant to a water source to the occupied space, you eliminate refrigerants in those small occupied spaces, which can be a concern for some in especially the hotel industry. 
This product's actually been in use in Europe since 2013. It debuted there as a result of the F-gas regulations that the European Commission put into place. These are slowly phasing out the conventional refrigerants that were in use and bringing in a new set of refrigerants with lower global warming potential. The HVRF concept gives us the best of both worlds, a low GWP refrigerant and water for circulating the heat and air inside the building. Hybrid VRF is able to modulate refrigerant flow, fan speed, and water flow to match the loads, and it provides energy efficient zoned comfort. And for those who've experienced variable refrigerant flow technology, this is the next advancement they've been looking for. This product is an extension of the success we've had with VRF. It relies on the same outdoor unit where the refrigerant flow takes place, but a whole new set of indoor units. It brings the two together in what's really a very proven solution. All of our products are designed to accomplish two goals. Provide the best personal comfort and contribute to our communities. Everything we make is designed for energy efficiency and sustainability. For more information on Mitsubishi Electric's leading edge solutions for business and industrial heating and cooling needs, visit MitsubishiPro.com. Thanks for watching Inside the Blueprint. For more information on any of the products you saw today or to find out how to become part of the show, please visit InsideTheBlueprint.com.